the child wouldn't wear these for long because they'd grow out of them but they'd pass them down the family and because uh, in Victorian times and earlier there wouldn't be just two or three children in a family particularly working class family there'd be eight, nine, ten children in a family so they wouldn't wear them for long, they'd grow out of them but they'd pass them down through all the children but a pair like that took a lot more care to make because you've got a very thin piece of wood you've got lots of pins to put in and then you've got the irons to nail on as well so it, you have to be a very, very more delicate and a lot more skilled to be able to do something like that and these are quite old pairs a wall because that flat if you were on a wall or in a wet environment, you'd lace them up for comfort. Yeah. And you put that flap over to try and stop water getting in. Yeah. You wouldn't stop it completely. Uh, but if it was in a foundry or a, a heavy engineering, then you wouldn't lace them up. You wouldn't do that, but you keep the cover on. Because if any shaft or hot metal went yeah, down there, yeah. you just keep them straight off. And what's, is that so, was that solid? Yep. So that would protect your feet, wouldn't it? Yeah. Is that metal those. then? Yes, yeah, metal. Yeah. Steel, Steel is that? Yeah, right. it is. And they put a lining on the inside. Yeah. There is that one, a bit fancier. Yeah. But it doesn't give the same protection as that one. No. Fabulous. It just depends what you were wearing or using Yeah, and what their purpose was. Yes. Yeah. And this is a, I know, uh, they look like rigger boots, but there's no uh, protection at the front. And they've even got the remnants of a felt woolen lining inside. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Rigger boots, yeah. And well, they look like them, don't they? They do, yeah. yeah. But the riggers, I think, are more, they've got steel toe caps. Right. You see, it was on the building sites, things like that. Children ones, uh, modern ones, modern dancing clogs. This is an older type dancing clog with a heel that spins round. So what was the meaning of this wheel? Uh, so you can spin on your heels very quickly, like that. Uh -huh. Children's clogs. Clogs that were made to try and look more like shoes. Yeah. I guess they put some sewing on and put laces on. Because at one point, people who wore clogs were looked down on by people who could afford shoes. Ah. So the cloggers tried to make clogs look more like Similar. shoes. But they still would. Oh, that's a fairly modern one because it's not got irons on. It's just got the, a normal stick on. Yeah. And I'm presuming they are comfortable. Yeah, more comfortable than you'd expect. Wow. But the majority of working class children didn't get any shoes or anything like that. They'd go around barefoot oh, and they'd wrap their feet in rags or old socks in winter time. So having a pair of clogs yeah. was quite a mark of wealth. Yes, yes it was. For, for a child. For a child. Yeah. You could still get uh, shoes, but shoes were very expensive. Right. They were more for the elite rather than the working class man. Yeah. And also as well, in those days, uh, the working class people didn't own their own houses. They were all either rental. Oh. And food was in short supply. So if you got to a state where you didn't want shoes anymore, or say Uncle Fred or Auntie Hilda couldn't wear them anymore, then you'd pass them down the family and if nobody in the family wanted them, you'd take them back to the clog shop and say, can you sell them on for us? We need money for rent or food. Right. So a lot of the ones on there and on the rack behind you are from the clog shop. And they were all second-hand ones. Thank you.